Hey guys, so today in this video I'll be showing you how to replace the sky in DaVinci Resolve 15 and in today's video we're going to go with like a bit of a sci-fi theme, theme and do like an alien sky where you can see like the planets and everything. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so for in today's video we have two clips that we're going to be using. The first clip is this shot that I have here and has the skyline in it. And then the next shot that I have is just a picture of that I got off the internet of like an alien sky. Now right now I have the alien sky on top of the original footage, but it doesn't really matter which way it is right now. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So first of all, we need to make this into a fusion clip. So just select these two clips here, right click on them, and then uh, press um, new fusion clip. Now this makes a fusion clip, and if we go into fusion, it means that there is two media ends here. So at the top here, in our media one, we have the original footage. And then at the bottom here in the media 2, we have the picture of the alien sky. Now, as you can see from the media out here, the image of the alien sky is in the foreground and the original footage is in the background. Now, we want to swap that out. Now, there is a shortcut for it, but I've forgotten it. I'll put it on screen somewhere. But for, um, but the manual way of doing it is just we have to change these colours here. So, right now, the media, uh, media in 1 is the original footage and that's yellow. And the media in... Uh, two, which is the alien skyline, is uh, in the foreground, which is green. So we just want to switch these around. So if you put the media of two into the uh, yellow cone, whatever they're called, then we put the media in one into the green one. Now, as you can see with the media out, we have the original footage in the foreground and the um, and the alien skyline in the background. So what do we do now to replace the skyline here with the image of the alien skyline or whatever I'm calling it? So go onto your media one, which is the original footage, and then go into the effects library, and then go into your tools, and then go down onto the uh, mat. And then once you're in the mat tools area section, go onto luma key. Now this is like a color key, um, but it only uses the uh, luminance data to um, like key. Now you can use a colour key if you have a very blue sky skyline, but because the skyline here is a bit grey and not that blue, I'm going to use the luminance key just to make it better. But if you have a very blue skyline, uh, use the uh, the colour key because that is going to like do it better. So once we're now in the luma key, you can see that it's kind of messed up our shot here. It's trying to replace the background with foreground, but we want it the other way. So go into the inspector and then go down onto invert and that changes it so the image of the skyline or whatever I'm going to call it is in the background and then we have the original footage in the foreground and then as you can see here it's kind of not that great because you can kind of see the clouds go through the building which isn't the best so we go so over here we have this adjustment key I don't know what it's called but it is used to um, adjust it pretty much um, and then you just um, and then you could just slide these along into it is what you want it to be like. So that is how I'm going to have it for today's video. It isn't the best, but um, you just need to tweak around with it a bit more uh, to get it how you like it. Because we can't, you kind of, you, if you do it too much, you lose detail in the trees here and up here. But if you do it too less, you get to see the blue skyline. So now we have an alien skyline in our clip, but as you can see, this video pans. So, and it doesn't like match up, the background is, the, the skyline is staying the same, whereas the foreground's moving. How do we change this so it looks more natural? So go onto the media one, select media one here, and then go back onto your tools, go down onto tracking, go into planner tracker, and that will add a planner tracker into your um, nodes page. Now, if we go onto the plan tracker and go onto the inspector, we need to change the tracker to a hybrid point area because we're going to select a little like area of this clip and track that. And then with the motion type, the motion type we only really need translation, rotation, and scale. You can choose the other ones, but just because for this video we only really need that, those ones. And then go onto your pen tool and then select an area of your shot that is always in the shot. So this bit here is going to be always is always going to be in the shot when when I pan over. So if you can see over here, that bit is still over there in the shot. I can't track like this window because when we're over here, the window's not in the shot. It's just track something that's always in the shot. So now we have this little tracking box, whatever I'm going to call it, and then press this bit here to track everything in front of your uh, playhead, which is at the beginning of the clip. 
Now as you can see here, we've got the green dots here and it's just gonna track forward. But as you can see, it has stopped. And now why this? Why is this? I have no idea why this does it. I think it might be just because my computer, it might not be able to like render it properly or it lost the tracking, tracking points. I don't know which answer is correct, but I'm just gonna go with it. So the way that you make it carry on tracking pretty much is that you go back to the last time it has these dot, green dots on the, um, green dots on the area that you're tracking and then you just press forward again and it's going to track. Now any time that it gets rid of the green points that you're tracking, uh, just go back to the last time you had the green points and then press the arrow. And just carry on doing this until you have your entire shot um, uh, tracked. Okay so now we have this entire clip tracked and as you can see here these, all these white lines is uh, uh, tracking data that is saved. So now what do we do with all this tracking data that we have? Transform, now this adds another node onto your nodes page. Now this node has all of the uh, tracking data in it and if you attach it onto anything in here, it would uh, copy the movement that you have tracked. So if we go onto the media tool here, if we just put it over here. So if you now hold down shift and you just drag it over the clip, uh, it would make it easier just to add it onto your clip. It's a nice little, nice little tip there. Um, but now, as you can see here, if we watch this, it's going to be quite slow, but as you can see, the clip moves along with the shots that I have. But the problem with this is that over here, we don't have any um, any image or anything here because the image is too small. So we need to go onto the media to in and then go on to click this little icon here and that adds a transform node. Now this allows us to change the size of the clip and like the movement, the placement of the clip so able to have it so it fills up the entire shot. So if we just increase the size, I'm going to drag it along a bit more. So it's kind of like there. And now one, hopefully now when we go over onto this side, that has the entire clip and if we, if we watch this through again as you can see it moves along with the clip and it looks much more natural but of course when you render it it's going to be much more smoother than it is now so here we have the finished clip of our alien skyline that goes along with the shot and it looks very natural it's tracked and also uses the luma key to make the skyline different but if you want to color grade this how do we do that without, because it's two separate clips, remember, but they're just put together. So go onto the pan transform and then just collect, uh, select um, color corrector and that adds a, adds, adds a color corrector node onto your um, time, uh, your nodes page. And then you're just able to color correct this and you're able to just color, adjust the colors of it. And then if you also want to do some color correcting to this clip, because they are two individual clips, uh, also select the color corrector on here and then we're able to color correct this so it kind of looks quite similar and quite, so it doesn't look like completely different with the colors. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video and you now know how to replace the skyline in DaVinci Resolve 15, give this video a like. And if you're new here and you like what you see, uh, subscribe to my channel, I make DaVinci Resolve 15 tutorials. Um, and yeah, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.